Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll be showing you a quick tour of the Civil War exhibition at MoCo in Hong Kong in April 2016. Also, I'll show you the Captain America and Scarlet Witch movie promo figures that they've got on display there. Those are prototypes. For those who don't know, MoCo is in between Mong Kok and Prince Edward. It's quite a large shopping complex. So you come out of the station, you pick up your curry fish balls and you're greeted by the shopping centre which has a pop-up store that's hot toys only so they're selling cos baby cushions, all these little t-shirts, things like that along with they actually do have some of the older figures for sale. On top of that they have the new displays for Civil War. They have the Captain America team and also Team Iron Man, some new never shown before figures and four one-to-one -one scale Ant-Man, Captain America, the Mark 46 and the War Machine 3.0. I wanted to show these one-to-one -one scales to begin with because it's very possible they may be up for sale at some point in the future. Just like the Armored Batman was available for sale I think around 7,000 US dollars so these one-to-one -one scales may be available as well. Now, this is not quite a one-to-one -one scale. It's meant to be Giant Man, obviously the larger version of Ant-Man, when he can change his size. The bit that I really liked was actually the blue LED light-up features that they have on this. I actually quite like this suit. Some people prefer the original version. I actually quite like this sleeker version of the suit. Next to him, you have Captain America. As all these are one-to-one -one scale, the detail is significantly higher than you would have for obviously a one-in-six scale because you've got six times the working area, the size that you can potentially put in more detail. Now moving across to the Team Iron Man, you have the War Machine 3.0 which is by the way extremely bulky. Some of these additional features which I've never seen before, even looking at some of the figure pictures and also some of the prototype pictures that are on Hot Toys and Secret Base website, you won't see them. So it's always nice to see these one-to-one -one scale replicas because this could be something that the actors had to wear. Obviously a lot of CGI involved but a suit similar to something like this. And you can see all the light up features on the Mark 46. It's a very sleek armour, extremely technologically advanced and it has about 28 light up features all over the body. And just to show you guys the back of these statues, I love these light up features on Ant-Man. We have Captain America showing his rear harness. And one thing I wanted to note is that on his left shoulder, the pad section, the shoulder pad section, you can see the Avengers symbol. Now, for those who haven't seen the film yet, or when it does come out, the symbol may or may not be there, so I wonder how that will look in the film. This, by the way, is the Mark 46, and the pose itself looks very similar to how the power pose Mark 46 may look. The bit I wanted to see in particular were all these light-up features, 28 light-ups. That's a lot. Normal Iron Man figures have around four to eight maximum. You get more on something like a Star Boost that has the rear pack or the Heartbreaker with the chest side blue lights, but normally it's just the head, chest and two hands, but this one has 28, so let's see how that turns out. Now this war machine could well be my favorite war machine. It's bulky, it's aggressive, it's stacked full of weapons, and overall he looks like he can take on a full army. First time I've seen this, the side thigh section has, I'm not sure if it's thrusters or weapons that come out, rocket launchers, whatever that may be, he looks incredible. And I actually quite like this power baton. Here is the Team Captain America, and the unveiling for Team Captain America is Scarlet Witch. Civil War version. Some people were confused with the new Avengers look because the suit is similar, it has red. It's a different shade of red. The undergarments is different, it's very low cut. The trousers are slightly different, the boots are different, the coat is different. Essentially it's a different complete tailor system. On top of that the head sculpt is the same head sculpt but it's a different paint app 
on there. And I think the hair holds differently as well. Here is Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier, and he looks like he means business. So I think he'll be a nice addition to the new Winter Soldier. Here is Team Iron Man, and there are three new unveilings never seen before. The first one is Black Widow. Now, those who have seen the Black Widow on Hot Toys or Secret Base Facebook pages, many have said this is the best Black Widow that's been done so far. This head sculpt is such an amazing representation of Scarlett Johansson. It's by far the best one the Hot Toys have come out with. For those who are interested in the person who works on this, this was by Yuli Choi. I hope I pronounced your first name correctly. You can see pictures of this on her Facebook page and also on Hot Toys website and their Facebook page. So well done Yuli and also to Jin and your team at the Hot Toys development team. I think you've done a great job on that. Two other unveilings, Black Panther for the full team Captain America and team Iron Man. There are video links in the description below. So click on that to see how they look from the front and I'll do a 360 walk around them. But for this exhibition, the figure that I felt stole the show was Crossbones. It has a Mark I Iron Man look about it, but with a military overall feel. It just looks like an absolute badass with a multitude of weapons. So when com some collectors say that they don't produce enough accessories, there is a bunch of accessories with crossbones. Another series that's been sold a lot of and have been sold for five years plus are all these Cosbaby range. They've updated the look of them and I actually prefer them. So these can be picked up as well. Now, moving on to the movie promo figures. I know you guys have been waiting for this. This is the battling version of Captain America in Civil War. I panned in a little bit so you can get a little bit of a closer look at this slightly weathered suit. You will also see the scratch marks on the shield, the diorama base that it comes with. They also have the broken crossbones faceplate or helmets that comes with this movie promo edition and a various number of different hands. Now, when it comes to the suit, it's very similar to the original Civil War Captain America. A few more scuff marks here and there, but that's pretty much it. Many collectors have talked about the similarities to the original version. So we move across now to the Scarlet Witch New Avengers. And I think you can see straight away, it is different to the Civil War version of Scarlet Witch. The outfit tailoring is different. The color scheme is again different. Hopefully this video gives you an idea of how these two figures look. It's the first time they've been displayed to the general public, so hopefully you found that useful. I know overseas collectors could have ordered these online at Sideshow, so you guys have a lot easier way of doing it. In Hong Kong, you had to be a VIP member. You could have queued up the day before the exhibition started. These two figures were not available to the general public to pre-order straight away. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and catch you all at the next video.